Welcome to Waterberg's Topics in a Nutshell. My name is Peter and today's topic is entrepreneurship. How do the Africans do? Last week I've been to a learning journey to the silicon savanna in Nairobi. So wait, Nairobi was in... Uh, yeah, in Africa. Thanks a lot. The tour was organized by the beautiful people of Ecotech, Identifier and Living Lab. So how do the Africans do entrepreneurship? Do they teach entrepreneurship at university? Yes. For example, you can take a course in entrepreneurship and innovation at the business school of Nairobi University. And what do they teach the students there? Lean startup and business model canvas, believe it or not. And the professors of the business school taught us about their experiences and what are the biggest problems in entrepreneurship in Nairobi. And believe what? It is bridging the gap between innovation and business market. Hmm? And where do Kenyan entrepreneurs go if they need support with their business? For example, to an accelerator like the IHOP. And where do entrepreneurs in Nairobi go if they need cheap office space? They go, for example, to a co-working space like Nairobi Garage. There you can rent a flexible desk or a fixed desk. Or you can even just sit in the cafeteria for a fee that is less than a coffee and you have full equipped Wi-Fi and everything you need. And if you want to pr prototype your product, then you go to a fab lab like Gearbox. There you can use the 3D printer or equip automatically your PCB or you could use the device for injection molding. Yeah, this is rather an old model. Anyway, so everything seems to be very similar to our entrepreneurship, what we do here. So wh where's the difference? Maybe in the market? Okay, let's see. This is an insect repellent. Yes, it chases bugs away. Right, and this you need also in Africa. Yes, but there are other problems in Africa. They have Elephants. Elephants are awesome animals. However, if you are a holder of a, a vegetable garden, you don't want to have elephants in your vegetable garden. They eat everything. Save chili. Save chili? Hey, that's an idea. Maybe we can build an elephant repellent based on chili. Here we go. This is, of course, just a prototype, but this is a box filled with chili powder. And if an elephant gets in contact with this box, it'll be chased away by the awful taste of chili. Isn't that great? Yes, different markets in Africa. <coughs> well, now you know everything you have to know about entrepreneurship in Africa, especially in Kenya. And if you like the video, please give me a like and type your comments below. Thank you.